Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and to coincide with my review of When Dinosaurs Roamed America, I decided I was going to review a model based on an animal that appeared in that, uh, that film? Documentary? Documentary film? It's kind of both. Uh, I decided on Apatosaurus, so today I'm going to be doing a review of the Papo Apatosaurus, based simply on the fact that it just reminds me so much of the Apatosaurus we see in When Dinosaurs Roamed America. Okay, so getting into this model, uh, the first thing that strikes me is that, well, it's <laughs> it's pretty big. We'll get into size measurements later. Now, when it comes to the head, uh, the shape of it is really good. The eye looks nice and glossy. It's very cool. Unfortunately, the nostrils appear to have been sculpted on the top of the head, which has been thought to be outdated for a while now. So the fact that they put them there is in 2015, which is when this model was produced, or at least when it was released, is quite surprising. Luckily, the teeth look pretty good, and the interior of the mouth has also been done very nicely. Now, a contentious part of this model is definitely the sculpt on the neck, and yeah, it is weird. Uh, Apatosaurus has a very bulky neck, and the vertebrae are bifurcated, which is to mean they are forked which is why they kind of look like they're jutting out here. However, I don't know why Papo decided to basically shrink wrap the neck as well by making it so the, the bits of bone making up the neck look like they've literally just been draped in skin and they jut out like this and it just looks very, very strange. When we look at this side, it also, it looks even weirder from this side actually, and especially from uh, the top down. It's just so strange. It would probably look a lot smoother than this in life, so I don't know why Papo decided to do this. I'm not really a fan of how it looks, to be honest. I think it just looks really creepy in a sense. It just doesn't look natural to me at all. Moving down to the torso, uh, this part looks pretty good. Uh, no complaints here really, however the legs are a bit strange, or at least the front legs, they're quite bent. And I don't know if Apatosaurus would be able to bend its legs this way because it's got a lot of weight to hold up. They would probably be a lot more columnar rather than this whole bent knee situation we've got going here. The hands do have the correct number of claws, which is just the, the one on the thumb essentially, but the shape of them is a bit weird. The sole should be kind of crescent moon shaped, but here they're kind of round and the toes, they should be rounded, but here they're kind of sculpted into little bumps, like they're just toes without claws on them, which is really strange. I don't know why Papo decided to do that either. So yeah, the front feet are very odd. The back feet are a lot better. The shape of them is pretty good, and they've got the right number of claws, which is three. Now the two outermost toes have been sculpted, and it looks like they've got claws on them, but I don't think they are. I'm gonna give this model the benefit of the doubt, at least. Yeah, it's very, it's very strange. A lot of this model is very strange looking. So yeah, I don't know why Papo have made a lot of the decisions they did with this model. Now coming to the best part of the figure, it's definitely the tail. It is appropriately long, it's very flexible, so you don't have to worry about the end being really brittle and breaking off if you're, if this is for uh, younger people. And it's, I think it's the right length, I think accuracy wise, the tail is really good. Now when it comes to the coloration, I, it's brown. <laughs> There's really, there's really nothing to say about the coloration. Although I will say, I noticed until, I hadn't noticed until I picked it up to review it today. There are, on mine at least, there's some strange light pink stripes on the underside of the neck, which I had never noticed before. You can just barely make it out on the camera. But yeah, very odd. Very, very odd. Yeah, th this model is weirder than I thought it would be. So in terms of the length, this guy's quite long, as you can probably tell, I'm struggling to fit him in in the frame. You're looking at about, from the tip of the tail to the tip of the head, about 43 centimeters near enough, which is just about 17 inches. Okay, so that's all I have to say on this model. Uh, very mixed feelings on this one. I think it looks overall pretty cool, 
but yeah, there's a lot of very questionable features of the sculpt, and I don't know why Papo made a lot of the decisions they made when it came to making this model. There's a lot of outdated stuff here, like the the legs and the nostrils on top of the head, and that neck is so strange. Luckily, the, the torso and the, the tail are excellent. So, overall, this one's a mixed bag. If you like the look of it, uh, go ahead and get it. There's surprisingly few good Apatosaurus models, actually. So, yeah, I'd say this is one of the better ones, but just be aware that it's not the most accurate. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please do check out my review of When Dinosaurs Roamed America, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now. Thank <laughs> you.